Hello and welcome. As you can tell by the title, I'm the Obsessed Movie Man, OMM. I enjoy the little things in life, and in this case, it's a 1999 sci-fi comedy that's surprisingly really good. Galaxy Quest is about the careers of a group of actors who start on a science fiction show of the same name. There's Jason Nesmith, Gwen DeMarco, Alexander Dane, Fred Kwan, Tony Weber, and eventually Guy Fliegman. At a convention, Jason is contacted by a group of aliens who need his help to defeat another alien named Ceres. The aliens have watched the Galaxy Quest TV show and have mistaken it for historical documents, thus believing that the cast really are members of the space crew. Wanting a thrill of adventure in their lives, the cast take on their roles again and set off on the adventure of a lifetime. Galaxy Quest is an ingenious spoof of Star Trek. Not just the show, the fandom, the behind the scenes aspects, the film spoofs it all, but not to the point where it becomes overly offensive. They poke a few jabs at how some of the original actors behaved, but they could have gone a lot worse, and what they ended up doing was smart, mature, and very witty. While every actor has a moment to shine, it is Tim Allen and Sam Rockwell who steal the show. Allen is the perfect satirical betrayal of William Shatner, being egotistical, cocky, and a bit of a player. Rockwell is a riot to watch. The way he delivers his lines or how he presents himself, it's all perfect. His character is basically the equivalent to the red shirts that appeared in Star Trek, someone who was just there to die. They play this joke up in a number of ways, but my favorite joke was when the alien Ceres began shooting at everyone on the Galaxy Quest team except for Rockwell's character. The effects are hit and miss. While the CGI is not all that great, the filmmakers make up for it with the practical effects for the aliens and Ceres. Thank you, Stan Winston Studio. It looks amazingly good. The music is really entertaining as well. It has this classic science fiction tune that you would expect to hear from some kind of Star Trek ripoff, but in a good way, where it feels like they're paying homage to those classic shows. One extremely clever decision was to have the main bridge set be built on a platform, which enabled movement. So when the ship is hit by something, the actors did not have to lean over and pretend they were feeling a sudden impact, because in actuality, the set would move and get a genuine reaction from the actors. What I love so much about this movie, however, is the clear admiration the filmmakers have towards fans of Star Trek, and really fans of anything. Not once did I see an instance where fans were painted in a negative light. They are nerdy, yes, but not overly nerdy. It ends up being the fans that save the day. I won't say how, but it goes to show how much devotion fans and filmmakers have for one another. It's a rewarding thing to see the nerds become the Galaxy heroes. Galaxy Quest is a work of genius, displaying great examples of parody, good acting, and respect towards those who love Star Trek. If you are a lover of sci-fi or parody, definitely check this out. By Grathbar's hammer, you shall be avenged.